Mmm, that sure was delicious. Not really. No. I'm not digging Oktoberfest by Country Boy Brewing. 5.5, and it was a struggle to get through them. Mm. I'm glad my glass is clean, and I'm really ready for this next one. Yes, I agree. So, next up. Good burps, though. Country <coughs> Burp. Even though they didn't show your bubbles, they are showing in my belly. Mm. They're like delayed so, bubble action. Good job on that, Country Boy Brewing. So, next we have... One of my personal favorite brands is Woodchuck Cider. Woodchuck is an awesome brand for ciders. They're probably one of the oldest brands of ciders. Which I will read oldest to big you. brands. I mean, oldest I, big I, brands. I, brands. As far, Sorry, I'm I, forty. I can, the, as far back as I can remember, Woodchuck more or less started the cider craze as of what you see now. So uh, I, 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 I kind of think of, to me personally, I think of them as the, like the pioneers of making cider industry what it is now. It's actually a little thing so, on the back about that. I'll read and, here in a oh, wow. So, and, yes. and I've actually, this is I've probably the only one from them I've never had. And I just saw it and I, I had to grab it. There was, right. there was no, not, there was no, no saying no. Tonight we have the uh, Woodchuck Hard Cider Berry Snap. Says a refreshing and fruity cider brightened by a snap of ginger. It's glutton free. It's made in Vermont. No artificial ingredients. It's five percent alcohol in twelve fluid ounce cans. Nice. So, so they actually we actually got yes, we got a uh, right country yes, boy. Come on. Our, whatever. Um. <laughs> At Woodchuck, we have been crafting America's original hard cider since 1991. Back then, we didn't really care that the world was drinking beer because we had a passion for hard cider. So that's what we made. Sure, cider may be popular now. Either way, we've stayed true to our roots, fermenting quality, innovative ciders with every batch because we like it. I like that. It's very honey and bear like kind of attitude about I like it. it. Yeah, because we like it. I don't care what you think. I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to like me or you won't. <laughs> you could visit our, visit our cidery. Come check out our cidery. Just off Scenic Route 7 in <laughs> Middlebury, Vermont. Where's that Vermont again? <laughs> Middlebury, Vermont. Okay. The cider house and tap room welcomes visitors and it with self guided tours, tastings, woodchuck gear, and 20 ciders on tap. Ugh, I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> We think there's nothing better than swapping stories with family and friends over a pint at the cidery. Questions or comments? Visit us. So, yes. Made in Vermont, Berry Snap Cider. I love the little, I, I love their box. I mm -hmm. do. I love their box. It's um, bright. It's colorful. Me personally, I prefer to have a box, a loose six pack, than having plastic rings on it, so. Go woodchuck on that one. Ooh, I have one. <laughs> so cold. Cool can. Cool can. I like it. I mean, they kept with their original woodchuck they've had. I love their little retro mix of berries and whatnot in the background. Uh easy to read if you're if you're into if you're into reading ingredients and all that jazz easy to read man this is going to be a breeze uh same thing on the box you read off all the nutritional facts and whatnot or no no i didn't all do right so not much to read on it so we'll just shoot off the nutritional facts if your calorie counter 170 that's a little high um sodium 10 Total carbs, 20 grams. 16 sugars includes 15 grams added sugars for a total of 30%. No protein. And 5% potassium at coming in at 230 milligrams. Um, the ingredients. Hard cider, less than 1% of natural flavors. Citric acid, grape skin extract for color. And sulfates. Lightly carbonated, no artificial ingredients. Ooh. Yeah, it means it's flavored with beaver butthole. Stop that now. We're not going to get into this. It is canned by Vermont Cider Company, Middlebury, Vermont, 05753. Tax class 5041B1. I don't know what that means. Yeah, overkill. Yep. All right, ready? I sure am. 
Oh, wow. So that smells like a candle. That's berries and ginger for sure. That, you know, you just probably pour that and a couple of them out around the house and it'll smell great. It is a cider. If you hold it up to light, you can see through it. But it is very. Mine's still bubbling, so. I want that bubble for a second. Why mine's not bubbling? Alright, let's so just see what we got here. It's a bit on the cloudy side, but. Cider. Since it is natural, all natural stuff, it probably is just from the purees and stuff. Great skin coloring. So you can definitely tell that it's, uh, it's part of what they use. They did say grape skin for coloring, though, so that's, you know... That's cool. Uh, so, as far as it being cloudy, I'm down with it. I mean, I'm thinking grape skin, if you're actually using that for coloring, you're going to get some type of... And the berry. Probably cloudy from it, and, you know, being that... said no artificial ingredients, so... I'm all right with it being a little cloudy on this one. I don't see sediment, so it's filtered. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, at least not yet. I, don't, I mean... No, I don't see anything. I feel like we give it proper time to at least get a little bit of sediment or see kind of sediment trails falling down, but uh, mm -hmm. I don't see nothing. No, no, it definitely seems pretty clear. It still smells like a candle. Mm hmm. Right, you ready? Yes, I am. Cheers. Mm hmm. Ooh. Gingery. Yeah, the ginger is definitely. I like ginger though. I do too. Um. <clears throat> Bubbles. You know when like, you got to think about the can. Then you know you have a reference point. Berry snap, and it is saying snap. So I think they're kind of like, hey. It's ginger. Ginger. And, and yeah, what was the description again? What was it with? Brightened by a snap of ginger. Yeah, I mean... It is definitely brightened by... So I'm so, guessing this is probably, like, close to their traditional berry cider with a ginger twist on it. Um, I do like ginger as well. So, like, if you're a fan of ginger, this is definitely a really, really great cider for that. I do wish that berry was a little bit more prominent. Like, you can smell the berry way more when you smell it. Yeah, it smells like a candle. I mm -hmm. barely taste the more ginger than berry. Like, I do enjoy ginger, mix. yeah, but with the way it smells, I was expecting more berry flavor. It's still very good, though. I like that it's got natural flavors. I like the coloring. I, I don't mind too much that it's cloudy because you don't well, see... Well, not so much natural flavors, no artificial ingredients. no artificial, thank you. No artificial yes. ingredients or no artificial yeah, flavors. Yeah, go, go thank with you. their wordplay. Yes, yes. Agreed. I like them. I like it so far. I do. I wish it was a little bit more berry, though. The artwork's really pretty. They always do a lot with their cans. It's really nice. It's always, like, really bright, really neat, um, and enjoyable, so. Um, again, a little disappointed on the berry. Ladies first. So I think, and the ginger might almost be, like, a little too much. Like, if I was drinking this whole thing by the end of it, like, if I was drinking a six-pack by myself, like, by the end of it, I feel like the ginger might be a little too much, and my stomach would be pissed at me. Um, so I'm gonna give it, like, a 7.5. Because I do love berry, and I love ginger, and I think that it is a really nice pairing. It's just a little, little strong little ginger for me. Um, I like, I like ginger a lot, so I'm kind of really happy there's a lot of ginger going on here. 
I, I'm gonna go a little bit higher. I'm gonna go eight five. The ginger is exactly where I was at. It said berry snap. And that's where I'm headed my, you know, flavors to. I don't get many good ginger beers or ginger flavored things out there, so this one I'm really excited about. Go woodchuck. Uh not too sugary. That which is, is always a big bonus on mine. And I agree uh with that one. you know, smells great. You give it to the ladies, they're going to like one or two of them. So, yeah, I'm going 8.5 on it. I like it. And the bubbles are still there. Uh, yeah. Yeah, these, these could get dangerous, uh, for me at least. I like them. I do like it. Again, I'm still going to stick with my 7.5. Like, I agree with you on the sugar, too. It's nice that it's not, like, overly sweet. It doesn't taste artificial. Like, I really do enjoy that. Again, just a little too strong of the ginger just for my personal taste though the it ladies not, might not like that 170 calories though I, if i remember right we had what the uh it was like 130 140 for the bold rocks so yeah I mean, they probably could down tone down some of that sugar but it's good still eight five seven five i like it yep. all right all right well thank you everybody for joining us on honey bears beverage review we'll see you next time